Beloved in Christ, do you know what is your basic and reasonable service that we ought to have to God? You know, there is a distinct difference between what a Christian does unto God and what one does who may not be a Christian, but do charitable and good works. And they somehow believe that that is what God requires from us. If you talk to many people today, they will tell you because of the things that they do, the works that they perform, the charitable works, that that is their are uh, honor or their gift to God. Well, beloved in Christ, there are many that have been uh, led astray with that kind of thinking. So what is our reasonable service or basics service unto God? Many will tell you that it is to tell people about Jesus, to tell people about their fate, to feed the poor, to help the sick and the infirmed, and to win as many people as they can to Christ. And that's what some believers will say. And then there will be those who also say that who are not Christians, but really are religious folks who wants to win people to their way of thinking or into their organization. But look what Paul writes about that in Romans, the 12th chapter, the very first verse. Our reasonable and basic service unto God. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable uh, service. Paul writes by the Holy Spirit of God that God's mercy is needed in order for us to accomplish our reasonable and basic service unto God. We cannot do it without, dearly beloved, the leading of the Holy Spirit, marked, lifted up, driven by God's mercies. And we ought to Look this, beloved, to present our bodies, our physical body, not our spiritual body, not our soul, not our spirit, but rather our physical body should be a living sacrifice presented unto God. Not our money, not our deeds that we do, but rather our bodies is to be presented to God that it might be holy and acceptable to God. That is our most reasonable service. Many of us, beloved, are led by the flesh. We may not think it many times, but what we want, we want it and we want it now. That's why there's so much selfishness amongst what we call believers. And many, I have to say, are not truly born-again Christians. Because to be born again means that you have been born into a new way of thinking. You have uh, 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 renewed your mind by God's word. You are driven you by the Holy Spirit of God. As the word of God said, when Jesus was driven 
led into the desert to be tempted by Satan. Beloved, we are believers and we are called to present our bodies unto God. That is our reasonable service unto God, but as a living uh, sacrifice. Amen? So there is a distinct difference between us and the world. It's a distinct difference when we bring our sacrifices of praise before God. There are those who bring sacrifices before God, but dearly beloved, it is not received. Why is it not received? First of all, you have to be a child of God to be able to present your body through the mercies of God unto Him. And that is simply our basic service unto the Lord. And from there, He leads us and guides us by His Holy Spirit in order to perform His will through us. That's why, beloved, we have to get before God as individuals that we might know what God's will is for our lives. We know what God's will is for uh, as a believer or as a part of a organism, maybe in the body of Christ, but beloved, God wants to set us in place as individuals so we can be a functional part of the body of Christ. Many of us are not functioning in the body of Christ because we have not presented our bodies as a living sacrifice. Beloved, this is so very important that we understand this because if we don't understand this basic concept of the faith, maybe it's a possibility we may not know Him. Beloved, the Lord bless you the Lord guide you in the understanding of his will and word for your life. Be blessed.